Do do do. Safety first. All right. Click. So here's the dealio. It's Wednesday. Half off day at Salvation Army. We usually never go because it's crazy in there. We used to. We used to. We used to go. But it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and right now we need items with an average sale price of probably like 25 and up. Mm. And usually at that Salvation Army we only find things in like the 15 to $20 range. I'm thinking this might be a good time to get some stuff for a new copy cost box though. Ooh, and also that Salvation Army has really good furniture and I need furniture items to either like flip into really cool items for our warehouse or just as is. Mm, so yeah. I don't buy new stuff. I do want to go to Home Goods though. So Allie's <laughs> currently, real. she's redesigning or designing, I guess, the front entryway yes. for our, our warehouse. Yes. And you're getting furniture. And we'll like, have to show them my sketch. Okay, we'll show the sketch. Um, but yeah, so we're also looking for like a couple furniture pieces for the warehouse. Yes. Yeah. So let's go thrifting and then I got to do taxes later, which is super exciting. And hopefully it fits in the car. There's nothing in the boot, right? I don't know. All right. Well, awesome. <laughs> oh, well, there's actually, there's parking spots. Let's go have a squeeze as the Aussies say. Remember that? Having a look. Having a look. Take have a, a quick look. Take a quick squeeze, Mike. There's a pair of Sora boots. I wonder what's wrong with them. Half off of 17. They actually look okay. Um, I don't see anything wrong with them. I'll take those. Some Nike Flyknit 4s. They would be five bucks. Great condition. Nice little Croft and Borrow Coogee-esque. Wow. Sweater. We actually do pretty well with these. It's going to be three dollars and fifty cents. We get around like forty. Yeah. Views, so it's pretty cool. And then this, half off of five for that vintage wow. starter Gators, nice. with the this big like Florida. Oh, nice <clears throat> Quartermasters. Well, some of those are good. That little starter pole. Ooh, Ali coming through with the vintage. Dollar fifty best. It's not single stitch though, no. but a lot of these, the Snoopy shirts aren't. Yeah, that's cool. My shirt. It's a cool graphic. 1990. I don't know. It's pretty specific though. Seminole Lodge. I'll probably leave it, but it's a cool graphic. I do like that. It feels old. Oh, this is kind of cool though. Look at the back. 10 reasons to be a Seminole Lodge person. Number 10 <laughs> is Tampa, hometown of Hulk Hogan. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Actually, I might get this. This is cool. Hulk Hogan in the title? Yeah, and it says the lightning capital of the world. Home of NFL's highest paid colorblind quarterback. This is funny. All right, I'll get that. Oh, snap. XFL t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Demons. I don't know. XFL's back now, so this might be worth something. Dodgeball? Remember the movie Dodgeball? That's the team. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, such a good movie. You ready for this? Yes. <laughs> oh. Wear it thrifted. Whoa. I like that. Do you see it though? Did you not notice that? You're both wearing Tweety. It's Tweety. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that funny? It's awesome. How yeah. would I not notice they're both Tweety? I don't know. I Why just would you think you did I didn't first. know that that is also that? Come on, that's funny. It's awesome. Yeah. That's the perfect Vegas shirt. Right? <laughs> really hard to do buttons. There we go. That's cool. This is all embroidered. I don't know. You is can probably rock it with some leggings. That's sweet. Word to the casino. Play the slot machine. <laughs> Alright. Not a bad little run into the Salvation Army. Yeah. It was quite successful. Yeah. We Prices like were fair. 30 bucks or something. Yeah. There were things we got because the price was good. Yeah. So there was enough of a profit margin in them. We're gonna run out to another Salvation Army because this one was good, about like half an hour away. I think we should be able to make it. We have 107 miles of range. If not, we'll just have to stop and charge. Well, let's see how far it is. It's only 20 miles away. Uh, we'll be fine. We're good. 29 minutes, 25 miles. 25 miles, yeah, we'll be fine. This Salvation Army 
It is quite packed. Now your destination is on the right. Yes, it is, GPS. And tons of resellers come here. Yeah, we haven't been here in, I want to say like a couple months though. So, oh yeah, this area, this area is usually free to park and there's people everywhere. There's a spot. 20 minutes later. Didn't even film in there. It wasn't, it wasn't worth it. It was it crazy. Was bad. So, um, there's Goodwill down the street. We're gonna go see if the Goodwill's any better. Yes. All right, this will be the last stop of the day. The Goodwill. I think we'll find a couple things here. Will it be good? Usually people don't come here on half off days. They just go to Salvation Army. True, but a lot of people, when they hit that one, they're like, let me hit that one. That's true. Yeah. Let's go see. Found these. You found some. Well, there's two pairs of these in the your size. I thought you might want them for CrossFit. Oh. They're good shoes. Ten bucks each. Wow. They look so small. Uh, let's put my bare foot in them. Ew. Everyone's gonna criticize That's that. Yours. Did you? Oh, they have a nice arch. Yeah, they're great. Oh wow, that's a nice shoe. On this episode of Alley No Sports. Oh. Oh gosh. Tough um, one, real tough one. Starts with an A. Yeah, I'll give you a hint. A uh, hockey. Yeah. It's a hockey team, and Pro it's player reversible jacket. It's a team that's been around for a while. Yes. Uh, is it an animal? It's not an animal. It's not an animal. Um, what state is this? Colorado. Colorado. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Burn, Kira. Um. What Colorado. starts with an A and is like reminds you S. of ice hockey. Another hint. Um, it's a thing that snow does. <laughs> Snow does? It's a thing that snow does. Snow, like the white stuff that falls. It's Aspen? A, it's an avalanche. A <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Colorado avalanche. <laughs> Good I love job, man. Wrong to that I'm not dumb. You were close. I was hey, just looking through the tanks. I realized they have all the activewear mixed uh, in. So I was trying to look for some true. activewear tanks. What do you think about these? Whoa. I find them interesting. Whoa. They're ten dollars. This is Yeah. They're a cool looking shoe, really well made, you can tell. They're they're Timberland. Timberland li limited edition. Those are Oh sorry, limited collection. Let me see the heel? I kinda wanna take a shot on them. They're just like really well made shoes. Wow. Yeah, I would. You think so? Yeah. Worth a gamble for ten? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, we spent $100 at that Goodwill, but Allie got quite a few things for herself. So many things for myself. But we also got some good stuff to resell. Um, I think that we are gonna do a cop at cost box this video. And remember, the way that we're doing this is somewhere in this video, we've put the password for the website. So you find the password somewhere in the video, go to the link in the description of this video, and if you get it, if you can log into the site, you can buy the box at our cost. So just what we paid plus shipping and you get the stuff. Yeah. It's fun, I think it's fair for everybody. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you guys everything that's going into the box. I might add some stuff from our warehouse as well, just to make it like a bit better for everybody. Um, but there's some cool stuff. I mean, just this, just this little Apple router model Oh, I can't see that. A1521. Just this router That's was... That's my eyes. I have old eyes. It was 20 bucks. It doesn't have the um, power cord, but we can sell it without the power cord for $50. So after shipping, after fees, it's still a $15 net profit. Um, and Apple stuff sells so fast. So, And I have a cord that'll fit it at home, so I can test it to make sure that it's working. Oh yeah, for ours. Yeah. So there's that, and we got some other cool clothes, a bunch more shoes, some Reebok CrossFit shoes, which Allie's probably gonna keep. Um, another pair They're of- my size. Yeah, another pair of Nikes, pair of Ultras. So some, some decent stuff. You said jacket? The jacket, pro player jacket, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we'll show you guys everything that's gonna go into the box. And like I said, the password is somewhere in this video. We're not gonna make it easy this time, because it keeps selling in like two seconds. Um, so 
it's going to be, it may be like a word on something, or it might be like, I don't know, it might be, it might be like something I said earlier in the video, I don't know, but yeah. it's up to you to figure it out. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Yeah, let's go home. Okay. Day two. I'm filming you, right? I'm filming. Look how tall I am. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, so this actually turned out to be a really good Cafe Cost box. Um, there is some really nice shoes in here. So if you like selling shoes, I would say try to get this. Um, there's a total of 19 items and here's everything that's going in there. So we'll start off with the Nike 4s, Flyknit, Nike Run 4.0 Flyknits. Um, these are a size 11. So there's those. And then I believe these are also Nike. Yep, also Nike 4.0 Flyknits. And these are, what size are you? Sized tag is cut out of these. So you'll have to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but both of those are really good shoes. I uh, found these today, a pair of Vasque Gore-Tex boots. Wow. Really nice, vintage, but in excellent condition. Amazing condition, actually. Uh, paid up for them, paid $16 for them, but I think 60 plus on these, realistically. Are those similar to the Wolverine brand? Kinda. Because that's what they look like. They do, they do sort of. I would, I would put them more in the line of like Sorrel, but Vintage Sorrel. Yeah. Speaking of, Vintage Sorrel. Well. <laughs> Um, so this is a pair of Sorrel, Sorrel Caribou boots, definitely vintage, made in Canada, really nice, also very, very good condition. So those are going in. By the way, shipping on this lot's going to be pretty expensive because this is pretty heavy stuff, um, but there's still really good money to be made here for somebody. I mean, I know that we could make like easy 60, easy 60, um, these are probably 35 bucks a piece. Uh, you've got um, Ultra, these are Ultra shoes, what model are these? Um, Torn, Ultra Torn 2.5s, um, 35 to 40 bucks there pretty easily. And then we are going to include these shoes as well. Um, I actually kind of wanted to list them ourselves just to see how much they would sell for. Um, just because they're so cool, right? That's weird. They're, you wouldn't call that a double monk strap, no. right? It's different. Yeah, I mean I would definitely say strap in there, but it's a strap and a lace up. They're Timberland. Wow. Yeah, Timberland limited collection. Shoes. The driving shoes? No, because no, they, they don't, don't go up the back. Yeah, I don't know. So we're gonna throw those in. Let us know, whoever gets this lot, let us know how they'll sell for you. Yeah. And then I thrifted these today as well. Clarks. Beautiful condition. Uh, no, not Clarks. Yeah, I suck today. Um, these are L.L. Bean Signature. They look like Clarks. They do, they look like the Wallabies. Yeah. Clarks Wallabies, you're right. Uh, but these are L.L. Bean Signature shoes, brown leather, really nice. I like those a lot. Even the laces are nice. A lot of times with those like, leather laces, they get all mangled and That's jangled. True. Yeah. So those are worth. These are worth. <laughs> these are worth a decent amount of money. Um, and then clothing-wise, uh, this is a Pendleton shirt. Pendleton woman's shirt. It's an older one, for sure. Um, and then I'm gonna put this vintage T-shirt in there, just because the back's really cool. Look at read the top line on the back. Tampa, hometown of Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> nice. I thought that was cool. And then we have a Roar shirt. Meow. Front and back. Always ugly. Very ugly, but they sell. True. Um, this is really cool. This is a 1980s champion tag University of Tennessee shirt. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This was a large in the 80s. That's tiny. Right? It's funny. It's so weird how things change over the years. Yeah. So that's going in. Vintage Snoopy shirts going in. Whoa. The 1994 Tweety Bird shirts going in. I saw that one in your Insta story. Where it thrifted. Um, and then this is a Columbia Omni Heat with the reflective Ew, liner. What? These do well, they're super warm. They keep you like, cause it's like a space blanket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's going in. I feel like if you wore that in Florida, you would get a heat stroke. Immediately. Yeah. Um, the Pro Player Reversible Colorado Avalanche jacket that's going in. Um, I thrifted this yesterday too. Super cool. Look at the tag on that. 1997 Fruit of the Loom. 
new with tags, dead stock. Do you think that model's still around? Definitely, <laughs> yes. I love that it has the original price tag on it too. $3.49. Um, and then the Kuji esque sweater. This is a really nice one. Kogi. Koji. Koji. And then last but not least, the awesome Ew. starter Florida Gators. This one's going in the lot because Callie won't let it stay in the warehouse. Go no. <laughs> It's actually pretty clean. Yeah, it's really nice. So that is everything that's going in this Cop at Cost box. Um, like I said, the password for the page is somewhere in the video. I don't even know what it is gonna be yet because I haven't edited the video. But somewhere in the video, you'll see the password. We have to make it a bit harder because we have 130,000 people watching these videos. Um, so first person to get the password, log into the website, gets to purchase the lot at the prices that we paid for it, plus shipping, that's it. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Um, until next time, I'm Ryan Roots. Hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Bye. What? Pause. Totally forgot. This is also going in the lot. Might as well throw it in. 20 bucks paid for it. It's worth a good 50. So this Apple router is also going in the lot. Enjoy. Noise.